Lesson 23, recognizing halves, recognizing halves. So I'm on page 111. So what are we doing when we recognize a half? So if I see two over four, that's gonna be reduced to one half. Three over six, that reduces to one half. Um, four over eight, that reduces to one half. And then five over 10, that reduces to one half. So all I'm doing is adding by one to the numerator each time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then my denominator is just double of whatever my numerator is. Ian, are you with me or are you drawing? You're not with me because you're drawn. Okay, example one. Example one. Oh, you guys only have one example. And you guys, have, oh, two examples, there's two. So which fraction is not equal to one half? So the answers that they give you are nine over 18. We have 10 over 25. We have 25 over 50, and we have 50 over 100. Ian, which one of these is not equal to one half? So let's look at just A, nine over 18. So nine over 18, does that equal one half? Yeah, it does. Divide both nine, both of them by nine. So that's all you're doing is you're dividing the top number. There we go. Yep, and it won't equal one half. We wanted to know which one equals one half. Good, 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 good. Okay, so example two. Example two, I have five over 12, and I'm comparing that with four over eight. Evan, which one of those is bigger? So that's less than one half, right? Because six over 12 would be one half. Right, and so another way I could do this is make them both equal to the same number. So 12 and eight, let's turn eight into, actually I'm gonna have to do that to both of them. So if I multiply this by, they're both, something they both have in common is um, uh, 24. So eight times Three. So I have 12 over, wait a second, eight times, yeah, that's 24. So 12 over 24, and then two times five is 10. Oops. And then I have 10 over 24. So I made their, new, their denominators equal to each other. So if you're not able to see it right away, um, you just make their denominator the same. Give them the same common denominator. And which one's bigger? 12 over 24. So Mr. Pac-Man, he's gonna go mow down on some 12 over 24, because he'd rather eat 12 dots than 10 dots. All right, so you guys have A through D and then one through 25 odd, so that's it. So this is probably homework for you tonight. So make sure you get this done tonight. So lesson 23 for those of you in the Saxton math classes, and then those of you in pre-algebra, you have um, lesson 4-3. So go ahead and get everything cleaned up, get everything cleaned up. Make sure you get this done for homework tonight because it's due tomorrow. And if you don't get it in, you're gonna